YouTube. Today, let's talk about a very common issue with um, with African cichlids, which is aggression, an issue that really troubles a lot of uh, fish keepers. Have created uh, it has created a lot of frustration for people. Has required the giving up of fish that you've loved, uh, maybe even the, the the death of fish that you've loved. Let's talk a little bit about African cichlid aggression and uh, let's get some thoughts on it. I'll share mine and then let's hear yours down below. All right. So, so first off, uh, I, I tend to get a very, a very uh, routine comment. I get a comment pretty regularly which talks about how come your fish uh, seem so calm, seem so peaceful, seem to be getting along. Uh, one fellow the other day uh, posted about how an intermediate added to his tank would have been destroyed or how a certain fish that I currently have, like an OB, would uh, in their tank had destroyed other fish and how come it wasn't happening in mine. Now, the, the, the conventional wisdom is that you should overstock a tank. I have seen, though, if you look at uh, videos by, um, you know, folks like Adam C., Corey, uh, Corey Hecker, look at, look at, um, look at the tank, uh, uh, look, well, look at some of Evan Alexander's tanks, um, you know, what his tank is doing. These tanks are not overcrowded. Uh, at the same time, they don't seem to be, like, uh, demolishing each other. So I'm not sure if that theory of the overcrowded tank is, is um, quite as as gospel as some of us tend to accept it. I've also had a tank with a lot of fish and a fish still singles out a particular fish and goes after it. So here's some things I've observed. Maybe you can, maybe you can use them. I certainly want to hear your, your thoughts on it. Uh, first of all, um, I keep my temperature at about 78. Uh, this affects metabolism. Metabolism kind of, you know, slows down a little bit on the fish. Uh, this, this allows the fish to be, in some cases, a bit calmer. And I also, um, I also keep lights off. You're probably wondering, why are the lights off on that aquarium uh, behind you? I keep the lights off uh, for a good part of the day. I have them on probably for about, I don't know, maybe three hours max, maybe four, uh, during times when I like to sit and view them. Uh, they do get ambient uh, sunlight, indirect light, uh, but the lights are off. This gets them to chill. They chill, they calm down and they don't quite go after each other. I also uh, frequently or usually avoid putting fish together that have very similar markings because when that's the case, they will go after each other. I've had, um, well, you've heard the stories of like the blue neons and the, um, and the uh, bicolor 500s. They, they, you put them together, you think they'll get along fine. They're both peacocks, they tend to destroy each other. Um, sometimes I've got, I have a situation right now with an intermediate I put in. At first, the larger intermediate was really dominating and trying to kill that little guy uh, where normally he wouldn't go after other fish. Now he's calmed down, he's accepted them, they've, they've positioned themselves within the pecking order. At some point, when that small intermediate becomes larger and starts to become more of a threat, I probably will have to separate them. So avoid fish that are too similar in their markings, um, uh, too similar in their appearance because they will see each other as competitors especially if you have a, uh, if it's uh, two males, there's a female in the tank. Um, I have no females in my tank. I don't know if that affects it. There is no competition for females in my tank because there are no females. However, when I did have a female in there before, I did notice that there was, there wasn't really a lot of aggression either. So I'm not sure if that's the case. So at any rate, my, my, um, my key recommendation would be based on my own personal experience, um, would be one, don't run your lights um, too long. Let them chill, let them chill uh, with the lights off. And uh, second, uh, keep your temperature around 78 and that, and that lets the metabolism drop a little bit on the fish. And last, avoid having fish in the tank that are too similar in appearance, even if they're not the same type of fish, if they're close and look a little bit like each other, uh, they will go after each other. So keep that in mind. And uh, now, there are exceptions to every rule. I don't care what anybody says here on YouTube. You're going to find exceptions. You're going to find cases where, oh, look, I've got four male uh, Buchachromis in my tank. I've got uh, four male eye biters. They get along fine. 
uh, there are exceptions, okay? You'll find that in every case, every scenario. Uh, the reasons behind that are, are uh, probably a mystery. <laughs> no one will ever really figure that out scientifically. But just as a general rule, as a general rule, the things I've shared with you have worked for me. They may not work for you, they, but they have worked for me. Uh, adding fish to a tank, what I have found works best so the fish don't get destroyed is um, giving my tank a feeding so everybody is calmed down, everybody has a, a full tummy, and uh, turning the lights off and then dropping the fish in in darkness and then leaving the lights off until the following morning. That tends to um, let things kind of chill and then when the lights do come on, eventually the, the fish is already sort of part of the community. Still, no guarantee that, isn't, that he isn't gonna be singled out, but I've been able to, to add single fish. Before, I had a rule of thumb. If you look at my earlier videos, four to six fish was what I used to like to add. Three is a minimum, uh, just to sort of spread things around, uh, but not anymore. Now I, I can actually add a single fish, and I've done it very successfully several times by doing a feeding, turning the lights off, and then plopping, plopping the fish in. Uh, I use the old uh, flop, flop and plop, plop and flop or whatever. So uh, there you have it. Those are my tips on aggression. I hope they help you. I hope they help you to be able to keep a fish that uh, you're considering possibly having to get rid of because of aggression and uh, help you with help you maintain a successful a successful tank. Okay. Thank you so much and be sure to uh, give me your comments below and uh, you can expand the conversation as always over at the Ben O. Cichlid Facebook group page and uh, don't forget to follow on ben.o.cichlid on Instagram. All right. Thank you so much for watching. You are greatly appreciated. And uh, that's all for now. Bye-bye.